Hey, what's up, guys? This is Brian at Whisper Status 74. Welcome to the community. Welcome to the channel. If this is the first time you are seeing me, please consider liking and subscribing. We're real tech for real people. Today's video will be a quick unboxing and first impressions of the brand new Sony HT A9 Media Four Speaker in lieu of a soundbar system 360 spatial surround it is a very interesting piece of technology the video will cover as i mentioned first impressions unboxing as well as using the sony a80j 77 inch oled as a center channel All right, guys, thank you so much for joining me today. Today, as I mentioned, is a first look at the brand new HT A9 audio system, 360 spatial surround. I typically don't do much audio. I am primarily a gaming and display uh, tech therapy channel. I really wanted this setup. I really wanted to try it, not so much as a reviewer, but as a consumer. I do have a home theater. I do have an AVR receiver with 11 channels. So a sound bar is not something I would need for this room a sound bar a system like this is something for an apartment or a medium to large living room space in my situation i do have a living room which you'll see in the video where my wife does not want to see speakers at all so you would think with a design like this I wouldn't be able to use it. Before we start, special thank you to Robert and Wendy Zahn of Value Electronics for supplying the HTA9 for extended review. Please consider making your next AV purchase through them. Check the description below. We've talked to them for over a year and a half on getting this in for us to review. Also, special thank you to Spare Change. Shane at Spare Change was also here. He had this model before me. I'll put a link in the description to his video where Shane is specializing in home theater and is an audiophile. So if you want to see his very detailed analytical review, check the description for Shane's video there. guys as shane does the unboxing i am not a huge unboxing fan hate filming them hate being in them i'm not good at them shane is much better at them he's gonna unbox it as he unbox it i'm gonna talk over it and tell you that so far now you, this video will seem a little out of sync i'm giving you my impressions in different parts of the video um you'll see my wrap up at the very end i want to show you some demos initially using the 77 inch a80j as a center channel it is definitely better sounding with that as the center channel and it is very convincing as a center channel i can't really speak to how it is at the smaller sizes in regards to the x95 the um x90 i know it does go from the x90 all the way up to the z9j 
the Sony A90J and the Z9J have the binding posts on the back of them. But for me, the 77 inch sounded fantastic. Again, I can't speak to how the smaller sizes will perform. They may have smaller drivers or smaller speakers. Shane's showing you everything that comes into the box. Everything's pretty self-explanatory. Each speaker has a power cable. They all have to be powered. Um, they are all needing to be plugged in. Love the design. But as a center channel, I do find the Sony 80J to be very convincing. I love the way this system sounds. Now, using it mostly in movies that are Atmos, it is the most convincing. There are some height effects. You can hear it envelop you. Now, more than being above you, I do feel like it surrounds you way more than any other soundbar I've encountered. Now, I don't even have the subwoofer yet. I will have that in a few days, and we will do some gaming and a full review. Shane is also showing you that you have a 2 by 3 inch woofer, a 3 quarter inch tweeter. You have two microphones built in to sync the speakers up. You also have a half inch driver on top to give you those Atmos effects. So there's a lot happening in this little speaker. The technology is amazing because it allows you to be very flexible where you put things in your room. As I mentioned earlier in the video, you can hang it on the wall right there. As I mentioned earlier in the video, my wife doesn't want anything in the living room to look like a home theater. That's why we have separate listening rooms. So for many of you, I didn't just mean an apartment. It can be in a living room. The living room you'll see it in is rather large, but to have it in an area where you can hide the speakers, move them around is definitely a strength. You don't need the room to be completely square or lined up to where it's your ear listening position. You can put them on the floor, you can hang them and it adjusts. So it's a pretty amazing technology. I think as a first effort, it's very, very convincing. I'm sure it'll also take many updates, but right now as it is, I'm really enjoying it, especially with Dolby Atmos and higher end quality sound. Music also sounds very, very crisp, very detailed sound. Um, it's not the deepest, because obviously I don't have the subwoofer here yet, but so far really, really enjoying it. You're gonna see me do the setup here, as well the setup is very easy it wasn't even worth filming i know shane's video has the entire setup so we'll spend more time even on his video showing you that i'll show you the e-arc and the setup behind the a80j here but as a center channel um, it is excellent without it it's still decent um, I would say you're better off with it as a center channel. I think buying it with another panel or even a projector, which you'll see on Shane's video, it's actually still very, very good. But I do believe the strength of having the center channel display is excellent addition to it, really giving you that full feeling. Now, as we're going around here, you're going to see the setup. A lot of it's pretty self-explanatory. You do have to enable audio system within the Sony, but it's very easy. It's very quick to set up. Not a problem doing it at all. Now I'm gonna walk you through or show you other demos where we'll be playing um, YouTube demos. They're not in Atmos and they still sound fantastic. I'm showing you the room again. And after I'm done speaking here, I'll walk you through this living room in detail so you can see if it measures up to your room or if you can relate to the odd placement of the doors or in your furniture and where you could possibly hide this system. Now, not being a soundbar guy, having an AV home theater system myself, I would definitely recommend it if you don't have a separates or an AVR. I do think it's as good, if not better, than any high-end soundbar that's out there. Again, the surrounds are very, very convincing. Let's check out a demo. All right, guys. I wanna show you exactly where they are in the room. Here's the HT. This is the Sony A80J 77 inch we'll be using as our center. Now the strength of this system is to not have everything placed as you would. You wouldn't have the wires this way if it was a permanent spot for them. You don't have to have them exactly even across the room. But I do want to show you the room that they are in. And the challenges with a surround sound system here would be having the speakers perhaps here behind the listening position where they're in the way. 
So in theory, I'd be able to hide each one of these, even behind the location, behind this door, and that's the strength of this entire system. And again, using the Sony A80J as the center channel, we will do some PS5 pass-through gameplay in another video. And there's the receiver. The receiver does need line of sight, but so far, I wanted to show you the room and the options you have in any size room. This is a pretty large room, and the system works fantastic in this specific room. And it sounds great. These aren't at most demos, just standard demos. We are about 18 feet from the main listening stage. So guys, I wish I could show you more movies. That's where this really excels. It does excellent with music as well. I wish I could show you the surround sound capabilities. You can't really hear them through YouTube. Can't really show you movies through YouTube either. I'm very impressed with it so far. It's spatial. Uh, the space, it does give you a little bit of that height, but it really envelops you in sound in all four channels. I'm very impressed with it so far. I will show you some gaming in the next few videos through the Series X and the PS5. So far, I'm absolutely loving it. It is excellent. I wanted to show you um, a little bit of demo, a little bit of unboxing, a little bit of setup. But so far, I'm absolutely loving it and will absolutely recommend it. Please check out Value Electronics in the description. Give them a call. They have them in stock right now. And I do believe Amazon is already sold out of them. Thank you as always. See you guys in the comments. Take care.